Okay, so check it out. A lot of times when I do my Marks E7 Customs, I mention that I put the Marks Power Pull Motor in them, and guys will ask me, well, what's a Power Pull Motor? So I thought I'd go through all the uh, older, from starting with the oldest to the uh, newest uh, Marks motors that they put in the E7s. So this is the earliest version. It's got uh, gearing on the flanges. It also needed to have uh, a couple of brass bushings here to hold the truck cover out away from the wheels. And the problem with the uh, gearing on the flanges is it caused derailments through Lionel switches. And so it also had a single weight in the back. It wasn't the greatest puller because the, the E7 is a, a, a plastic shell, so there wasn't a lot of weight there. But it, they're okay runners. So that was the earliest version. You, you find this, oh, let me show you one more time. You find this motor in some of the uh, earliest Santa Fe's, especially the, the uh, long pilot will have it in it. And I think the uh, long flag New York Central had it and uh, some of the Western Pacifics had that motor in them. So then Marks redesigned it. And I'll turn this motor this way. Then the next version again had the single weight in the back but they recessed the gearing in behind the, the wheel uh, they the gearing ratio is lower so it's uh, a little bit smoother runner but again with just a single weight it wasn't the best puller and again it also needed to have the uh, the little brass bushings to hold the truck cover out away from it so that was the second version and then marks introduced the power pull motor again it has a steel uh, steel plates, but they put uh, traction tires, and the traction tires are always on the geared side. And then another thing that they added was a large weight over the center here, and then they still kept the the, the rear weight. So these are these are probably some of the better pullers. They're not some of the better runners, but it, that was the earliest power pull version. And now the version that I use for my customs is this one. It has a large weight and it also has the traction tires and it has an aluminum has aluminum frame on it and yes this is the this was probably the last version they produced because it also has a nylon brush plate and you can identify those pretty easily there'll be a circle here and a circle there the older style brush plates there'll be an X over here Again, so it has the the gearing as the side that has the traction tires on it. And it didn't need to have the brass bushings because, as you can see, the large weight extends down here and that's what holds the truck cover out away from it. And then there was also this version. This would be found in like the Mohawk Freight uh, or some of the New Havens had it, I think a Union Pacific where they didn't have a dummy unit, they just had a single powered unit, and so they had a scissor coupler here in the back. And there should be a little spring there. Again, with the traction tires and the large weight over it. And then one more thing that I noticed was when Marks made this, they kept the same tooling because they still kept the holes in the back for the small weight even though they weren't using it anymore. So I came up with a brainstorm of actually just kind of trimming down the little nubs that hold that smaller weight in there just so that the large weight would clear on this side so that I would have dual weights and it probably pulls about five or six more cars than just a regular one would so I called it the Marks Power Pull Plus again it's got the traction tires on the geared side and it's a really smooth runner these are the best these are the ones I look for so I just thought I'd give you a little tutorial on what a power pull motor is this is what I'm talking about large weight traction tires some of them the latest ones had even a, a nylon brush plate so thanks again for watching I hope this helps God bless never forget Jesus is Lord